Mr. President, thank you very much for joining Athens News Agency, the official agency of uh, Greece. The European Parliament, beside us, discuss a new package for investments in Europe, the New Deal for Europe. Uh, what is your opinion? It will be effective? I think we have to see two things. Firstly, we need investment, especially in the south of Europe, and we have a lack of investment because uh, banks are under stress, uh, small medium-sized enterprises have no access to loans or even have no ideas mm -hmm. how to develop. So we need on the one side entrepreneurship and projects. On the other side, we have to rethink how this money will be uh, established. It's apart from the EU budget, apart from the European Investment Bank, private money, and then with a the leverage via European Investment Bank, it should create 315 billion. And if you take a leverage with a multiplier 15, you have to take projects mm -hmm. which could be financed in the private sector as well. And that's my concern that uh, with these circumstances, will not, we will not create this kind of growth we really need. We will only finance things which could be financed on private markets as well. I, 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 hear, I see some uh, doubts concerning uh, the point that the German will be again called by the Europeans to pay the, to pay the package. Eh? I think it's not a question whether the Germans paid or yeah, any, yeah. anyone else. It's a question whether you make a leverage with the multiplier 15 which means a bank is only allowed to multiply with 12, according to Basel III yeah, rules, exactly. for example. And uh, therefore, it will be only AAA projects. But for AAA projects, we don't have a lack of money. And that's my problem. So we should invent uh, uh, ideas where really additional money is brought to member states for private investments. And uh, that is what we have to work out now in the process of the European Parliament, as this proposal has to be adopted by us. You are Vice President in the most crucial uh, Commission of the European uh, Parliament. Concerning Greece, quite now I see some difficulties concerning the relations between Greece and Troika. What is your opinion? I think um, a member state uh, who is uh, in a program like Greece and is falling in love with the Troika does something wrong. So it's normal that between Troika and a program country there are frictions and problems. On the other hand, I think what we have seen now is that Greece delivered a lot. We saw growth uh, in this year, although, for example, Germany has a reduction of growth. Greece has the highest increase of growth. Greece won a lot of competitiveness, and if we can activate now capital for investments, all these measures will create the benefit uh, Troika has foreseen it, and then I think these frictions will come down. The main problem for the moment I see is that Troika asks for more time having influence on Greek development in Greece. Of course, says after five years or four years in the program, we want to get rid of it and that is something we have to conclude very quickly because I understand that um, Greece politics and the state of Greece now thinks four years, four and a half years is enough so we want to stay on our own legs and not without the support of Troika and all the influence of Troika. Uh, Samaras government, Greek government wants a, a, fiscal, line support, a fiscal line support to support the, the, the Greek economy after the exodus of uh, the memorandum. Is it, is it, is it easy to, to, to achieve it? You know, if you get a, a direct uh, budgetary help, you have, to take, uh, you have to accept that someone is taking care on that. So you can't get rid of the Troika on the one hand and asking for money. Both is linked together. But if, for example, this 315 billion program of Jean-Claude Juncker gives a kind of support for some areas, not for all them, uh, Samaras uh, foresees it, but for some, it reduces the power of Troika as well. And therefore, we have to find a balanced approach. But I think we're on a good track achieving that. Concerning, again, uh, Samaras government, many Greeks have the feeling that uh, Merkel, Merkel's government does not support quite now the Greek government with all its means. Have you, the, you, do you share this uh, feeling or? Uh, absolutely not. I think the German government has delivered a lot of help during the time and a lot of support, not only on money or fiscal issues, but as well on direct uh, 
support. You know we had a task force or we still have a task force in the German government who is trying to bring German investors to Greece and a lot of projects have been established and that are those cornerstones which can be um, the uh, starting point for development, economic development in Greece. So therefore Germany helped from the early beginning till now and will continue helping but uh, sometimes there's the impression that the hand who gives aid is not only a helping hand but you can trust the Germans. We are really interested on the recovery of Greece and we are spending a lot of money, are spending a lot of ideas, are spending a lot of time to assist our Greek friends uh, to have progress. But in, 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 the, in the same time, I think that in Greece there are a lot of anti-German sentiments. Have you, have you any idea for, for this and how can you explain that? Yes, I saw it as well because I'm more than once a year in, in Athens and speak with my friends, political friends and private friends. I have a good picture of what's happening in Greece and I uh, really appreciate how the society, the state or the people in the state uh, have overcome all these problems because uh, you had a lot of tensions inside the society as well and that was well received in Germany. But on the other hand, of course, we have a history with some burdens. Uh, especially Germany and Greece and I know that uh, especially in uh, times of, of need these questions come up and uh, I hope we will co overcome that. On the other hand if you ask German tourists for example who spend a lot of money in Greece they say about the friendship, the hospitality that is what we really like and you will never find somewhere else outside Greece and that is well received in Germany as well. So we have both sides, the demonstrations in Athens in front of the parliament on the one side but on the other side this hospitality to Germans as well uh, which we see all over Greece and I think that is uh, then a good picture. That's correct. Uh, but in Greece there is also a political instability. You, you know the, the developments, uh, many People uh, say that we must we have we, we have uh, we shall have elections on uh, March on uh, on February. Uh, have you any any uh, opinion about the Syriza party, the opposition party, and uh, what will be if if Syriza party will take the government? So, firstly, the question has to be answered whether the parliament itself can elect the president or not. Of course. The threshold is very high. Have and you any information <laughs> inside? No, but I know that the threshold is very high and the coalition does not uh, have the votes to overcome the threshold. So, if that is not going to happen, automatically there will be elections in Greece. Um, but to be serious, uh, when we see what Syriza is delivering here, we don't see anything. They're not delivering, they're only making noise. But with noise you don't solve problems. And uh, to promise the people in Greece that with Syriza everything would become better, that's wrong. That's wrong. Of course, Troika, member states, European Union can't deliver more. We have given what is possible to the actual government and even to the Papandreou government before. There is no option to change the whole system and uh, what Syriza is doing here is not serious to promise something which can't be kept and that would uh, create a lot of mass and disappointment in Greece so I hope that um, the European elections have not been so bad for neo Democratia. so I hope for national elections if they will come if the parliament fails voting for a president that uh, people will remind yes we had a hard way to go but we now see the light at the end of the tunnel and we would destroy this light if Syriza comes into power. And a last question Mr. President, uh, national debt is the main problem for Greece. Do you believe that the German government, government, Merkel government will support any Greek government to, to overcome these uh, difficulties with the debt? We have done already a lot. You know it, there was a, a debt capped a cut uh, with more than 100 billion euros a few years ago. If you look how we have prolonged the loans, how we have uh, reduced uh, the burden of uh, interest rates, we have really delivered a lot. So that are conditions you will never find on the markets, neither for Greece nor for any other state in the European Union. Not for Germany also. Well, we have good conditions as well, but uh, that's another story. So we have delivered a lot. And of course we need growth in Greece for employ people, for employing young people, 
for creating jobs all over the country and of course for reducing the debt burden. And um, these are the measurements we have to take now that investment are, is really taken, that uh, banks are delivering loans again, that the private households bring their money back to the banks and not save it wherever in the house. And, uh, yeah, and if we solve these problems and bring faith to the economy and to the state back for investors, then I think we're on a good track. And with this growth, the uh, burden of the debts will decrease automatically.